I got a toolbox tour for you guys today on this new Husky box that I just picked up. I put my old toolbox outside with a free sign on it. Just came back. That thing's already gone. I also put uh, my old one-ton shop crane out there. That thing went uh, just as fast. So if you might be interested in picking up a box like this, uh, give you a pretty good idea uh, as to what you're buying in terms of storage and price and um, you know all around durability so uh, i'm gonna go through show you some of the things that i like about this toolbox and um, and then i'll show you what i ended up putting in there so before we jump into it uh, this toolbox right here uh, i got so much storage between this toolbox and this um, uh, cabinet over here and my tool cart that uh, I no longer need this toolbox. So this toolbox is completely empty. I was able to get everything out of this toolbox as well. So I'm pretty happy about that. So this is going to be a toolbox. I'm not going to give this one away, but I'm probably going to clean this up pretty good uh, put it online and try to sell it so I no longer have a need for this toolbox uh, I've done a video on this particular toolbox in the past and what I think about it and uh, whether or not a professional auto technician should buy this toolbox so I recommend you check that video out if you were thinking about buying a toolbox like this from Home Depot as an auto technician okay so let's start from the top and work our way down all right so this is how it looks with the top hatch closed and locked up for the night um, you can leave items in there to charge overnight if you need to if you need to charge up a scan tool or you need to charge up a memory saver a flashlight or something like that to be ready to use uh, for the next day so you can not leave that stuff locked up charging inside the hatch so that's a nice feature all right so you do have two power strips here and it comes built in uh, with a light up here so got to hit the light switch right there and you got some light up top uh, it also has uh, a magnet right here so you can use this magnet to put certain items right here if you need to uh, it also has two power strips one on each side we got one on this side one on the other side so you have a total of 12 um, power outlets six per side and then two uh, usb ports on each side so a total of four usb now these power outlets do have separate um, uh, separate separate uh, cords to, to plug into the wall uh, so you, so they do have two cords on each side of them so keep that in mind so there is quite a bit of space here uh, to put things up here put your scan tools your power tools uh, music I got a little mini toolbox right here uh, that I keep things in so there's quite a bit of space up here there's quite a bit of surface area up here you know to throw different things up here as well magnet tray <clears throat> this is magnetic right here uh, I use this thing to stick things up there from time to time uh, I also like to uh, put hooks right here for my keys when I come in and then also there's more hooks right here you can put the customers vehicle or the customers keys on the vehicle that you happen to be working on so it's a nice box keep you organized so I got some flashlights on the side right here as well uh, also got this uh, conversion chart that I use it does come in handy from time to time I really like this this is a nice top uh, to keep you organized all right so moving down to the first drawer all right so the first top drawer I got some wrenches up here and so I got <clears throat> I got all my uh, jumble size wrenches up here big 36 big 32 also I got my uh, <coughs> My wrenches that I use to modify these are like uh, cheap Pittsburgh wrenches that I keep the 
if I need to modify a wrench for a specific job, it's going to be one of these. I also have uh, <clears throat> some angle wrenches right here, some uh, flare nut, aka uh, line wrenches right here. And now over here in this little tray, I just got, you know, older wrenches that I've had for a really long time. Uh, some midget wrenches uh, in here. I got uh, just old wrenches I've had for a while. Got some plastic uh, razor blades here. Uh, some crow's feet. And uh, these are uh, Phillips and, and flat bits here that are all quarter dry and then I have some uh, uh, the swivel sockets these are all SAE swivel sockets in here prone swivel sockets that I'm not going to use uh, quite as frequent so you know, I have them up here but uh, this is everything in my top drawer next drawer is uh, a wrench drawer as well I got some uh, SAE wrenches right here. I have some uh, inverted Torx wrenches right here. Uh, got some stubbies, basic set, 19 to eight millimeter. Got some ratcheting wrenches, 19 millimeter to 10, and these are stubby. These are uh, an offset ratcheting wrench. And then I also have some uh, non-offset stubby ratcheting wrenches. And then I have um, you know, a smaller 10 inch adjustable wrench as well as a big 15 inch uh, adjustable wrench. We got, this is a BMW fan clutch tool. Uh, this is an old snap-on fan clutch tool set that I bought a long time ago. Where I lost all the rest of the pieces, but I still have the 36 millimeter wrench, and which is pretty typical for a, a fan clutch nut. So I keep it around and I do use it. In fact, I just used it on a water pump job on my Tahoe. Um, this is an axle puller. You can put on a slide hammer and, and pop a CV axle out, so which I rarely use. All right, next drawer. This is a really nice drawer. Here's a surface that you could write on uh, if you need to make notes or something like that. Or if you need a quick work surface, if you solder and some wires together or you know, something light duty, or you need a surface top to work on. Uh, this is a nice, uh, great work top right here. And underneath it, you got storage. So underneath it, um, I have electrical stuff, uh, electrical repair kit, some test leads, some uh, some shrink tubing. I got some uh, back probes. I got a spark tester, inline spark tester, as well as uh, just a quick ignition uh, cable tester some extra fuses got various uh, uh, lighters in here this is a, um, a, um, a relay tester called a relay buddy you stick your relay in there and test it see if your relay is good saves you a lot of time from having to jump the relay I got a remote starter switch right here for those one man diagnostic jobs. Uh, test light, solder and iron, uh, thermometer, laser pointer thermometer, uh, another little test light thing that I created. Um, some jumper leads right here. And I got a couple compression gauges in here as well. Uh, so that's what's in this drawer right here with this nice top over it to uh, you know make notes write down things etc put your wiring schematic right here you know and you can be able to make notes on it 
or you could even do various little small uh, you know repairs right here so I really like this top drawer right here very nice so moving over here okay so what I got here is a, a trim tool set I got a, some digital calipers here this is an extra light bulb to a, a light that I have in a corner over there uh, just miscellaneous stuff I got some uh, fuel line disconnect stuff right here uh, various sizes and um, these are uh, LED light replacements I uh, replaced all the uh, incandescent bulbs on my Tahoe with LED lights and this is kind of what was left over so I just got some spares this is a, a like a thermal switch for uh, you know wiring up a, a fan or something like that I did have a fan that I wired up in my Tahoe uh, in addition to the fan clutch uh, and I had it wired up to a relay that would switch on every time I cut the AC on uh, the secondary fan would cut on as well uh, but I took that out um, next I got this lockout kit so how this works is you uh, get this in between the door and the door jam and you sort of pump it up and it's going to create enough space uh, in between the, the door that you could then stick something in there for example this rod that came with it so you can stick it in there and um, you know, hit the locks or something like that I think it's a good idea for every vehicle owner to have one of these. This, this wedge actually comes with it too. You can actually slide this wedge in uh, to sort of keep the uh, the door sort of wedged open while you got your uh, rod in there opening it. So I got that just in case I goof up and accidentally lock a uh, customer's key in a car. Uh, I can get it out. So that's what's here. Okay, so this next drawer right here is where I keep um, like my miscellaneous ratchets, if you will. Or ratchets I just don't use that much. Got some triple square bits in here too. I don't really use these that often. Uh, so this is what's in here, stuff that I don't typically use that much, but I do still use it. For example, uh, I get uh, quite a bit of use out of this uh, quarter inch body ratchet but as you can see it fits a 3 8 drive right here so I do use that so that's what's here all right so in this next drawer right here this is where I keep my gloves got some diamond grips here got my Dremel here and you know various attachments to the Dremel I got a heat gun right here and uh, an old school timing light right here uh, as you can see, I just got finished using this Dremel not too long ago. I got the polishing bit on there. I uh, polished up some jewelry for my wife. But that's what I keep in this drawer. All right, so moving on down to the second half. Okay, so on the very top drawer on the second half or the bottom half of the toolbox is uh, the socket drawer. And in here, uh, you know, I got you know, large uh, axle nut sockets in here. I got my impact sockets in here, you know, larger you know, sockets in here. All this over here is half inch, and then um, you know larger axle nuts and stuff in the back. And I also do have some stuff up here up front because this is the largest drawer, so I kind of had to put that stuff in here. So you can see here, I got my large pry bar right up front here. Yeah, really long extensions right here. Breaker bar. And I do have some larger uh, half inch size ratchets right here in this drawer. And uh, I also do have some 3 8 and quarter inch drive stuff here as well. I got some quarter inch drive. Um, these are 12 point. Uh, SAE. These are 
12 point metric and then these here are just uh, uh, SAE six point shallow and deep so that's what I have here so right here I got some deep 3 h drive sockets these are my go-to sockets my my go-to sockets are uh, in my tool cart um, but I do have these as well as some uh, 3H drive uh, shallow 12 point and then I have some impact sockets these are 12 point uh, 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 metric but back here I also have a complete set of 3H drive sockets I believe from like 6 all the way to 22 and then I have some uh, turbo sockets for uh, rounded lug nuts this is a, a harmonic balancer holder for Hondas and then I also have some, some heavy duty uh, hard hitting uh, sockets uh, made by Lyle specifically to remove uh, to remove Honda crank bolts and I got those there so oh, not to forget I do have a, a serpentine belt tool in here as well so and, uh, so that's what I keep in the uh, top drawer okay so moving down I got some more wrenches um, you know I got the uh, extra long double box stand style wrench uh, these were real popular uh, you know five or six years ago uh, I don't really use these that much but uh, I they do come in handy when you need them uh, I got a set of uh, angle wrenches these are from um, I want to say 8 to 19 yeah 8 to 19 and then up here I have a, a continue from like 20 to I don't know 28 or something like that okay 20 to 27 I picked up where these leave off and then uh, I have the uh, you know, double box stand offset wrench right here these are uh, ratcheting wrenches um, these are six point ratcheting wrenches so I use these specifically um, because it is a six point ratcheting and not a 12 point so I may use those uh, more specifically or more focused uh, for a particular job and then I have um, I have these universal wrenches I've had forever my wife bought me these uh, where they're on sale at Sears so these things work really great uh, for rounded fasteners these teeth in here these teeth in here uh, will actually grip a rounded fastener and move it that's not its intended purpose I don't believe I believe its intended purpose is to uh, be able to remove any fastener no matter what type 12 point 6 point you know whatever type of fastener it is this is like a universal but it works really good for rounded fasteners especially when I can't get my turbo socket on there because clearance issue and I have to use a wrench these come in handy for that and over here I got my extra long double box stand wrenches right here so that's what I got in this drawer so next up guys I got power tools and this is what I'm using for my power tool drawer right now um, everything fits for what I'm currently using at the moment um, so between this stuff you know this gets it done if I have to buy another power tool I'll make some adjustments to where I have everything so it'll fit but really I can get rid of this uh, impact gun right here and I can get rid of uh, that uh, uh, air ratchet right there I really don't use those two tools anymore uh, so yeah those may end up going anyway and then I'll have room for another power tool that I actually do use but right now this gets it done so this is the tool that I'm using right here uh, for all my power tools and I did want to make uh, one mention uh, about this socket drawer right here take a look at this socket drawer Husky finally put double slides on a larger drawer. Um, prior to this, they weren't putting double slides on these um, larger size drawers. 
let me give you an example. So if you take a look at my old toolbox, one slide for a very large drawer. And I had this thing uh, pretty weighed down with some stuff. So shout out to Husky for making uh, the necessary improvements. I got blow molded case stuff here. And I have so many blow molded case tools. Um, I had nowhere else to put these. I put all the rest of them in my tool cabinet uh, over there on the other side of the shop. So as you can see, I got some all tail stuff over there. I got a TPMS tool, scan tool, and I believe the one in the middle is um, like a bore scope tool. So down here is where I got most of all my blow molded tools. Uh, they take up so much space in a toolbox. Uh, so I got them all jammed into this cabinet here So I had no choice but to uh, still use the toolbox for the blow molded cases, but I Tried to put the ones that I use more frequently. So I got my power pro I got my uh, Snap-on torque wrench. I got a set of sockets for rounded nuts aka turbo sockets I got a power steering pump pulley tool. I got some stud removers. That's a oil pressure gauge. I like to check mechanically. So if you get like, a, if a customer has an oil pressure light that's on, you can check it mechanically. And then I also have a cylinder leakage test kit. So I'm thinking these are probably uh, the tools in a bull molded case that I use the most. So those are the ones I chose to go in this toolbox. Moving down, so on this bottom drawer, this is a, a what is this? This is a puller tool for um, uh, pilot bearings. It goes on the slide hammer, some uh, brake caliper hangers. Got hammers in here. have my go-to hammers in here my go-to hammers are in my tool cart so these are going to be like more specialty hammers if you will chain wrench down here this is a power ball power bar tool by Mako to take uh, crank bolts off got more pry bars down here large puller tool I'm gonna restore this thing I'm gonna uh, clean it up real good and I'm gonna paint this thing black and gray and then I got some uh, chisels over there I also have uh, little pieces of steel here flat pieces of steel I use these to uh, hammer in seals and things like that nice piece of flat steel be able to hit something in nice and even so I keep that around so that's pretty much it for this bottom drawer oh and then I got a cheap Harbor Freight slide hammer in there and then on the smaller drawers over here I got um, some Milwaukee drill bits some Ryobi drill bits I got a uh, fishing strain to take off like old uh, badging on vehicles and put a new one on because I do do that for customers from time to time and uh, as well as my own vehicles and then uh, I got a snap on uh, uh, drill extractor set this is a cheap Harbor Freight extractor set but uh, I don't use the extractors, I just keep the drill bits. And then um, I have, um, these are the extractors that I use once I drill into a broken fastener and I tap in the uh, extractor. I use these. Uh, these are by Snap-on, but I believe you can uh, buy these in other brands. So this is what I use and what I recommend. 
so I really don't recommend uh, these type of extractors these things could be kind of dangerous and they do break off I did it if you do break off an extractor inside of a bolt and you don't know how to get it out I did a video on how to remove a broken screw extractor so I'll leave that link in the description if you haven't seen it and I also did a video on demonstrating uh, using one of these as well I'll leave that link in the description as well impact driver tool and this thing is so old I'm gonna have to upgrade it at some point but it still works I think I bought this at like uh, before it was O'Reilly's Cragen it was Cragen if anybody remember Cragen's that's where I bought this uh, some hooks here hose hooks radiator hose hooks different hooks some gasket scraper right here Got a knife here seal puller so that's what's in this drawer next up uh, I got a couple of scan tools here uh, these are like my quick access scan tools got a launch right here and I got a, a all tail right here so these are my uh, quick go-to scan tools right here in this drawer I got some suspension stuff so here I got some pullers and uh, some suspension stuff I'm probably gonna get rid of this mat for this particular drawer but um, coil spring compressor got a pitman arm puller three jaw puller brake caliper spreader tool uh, got a gear puller this is to bust out uh, tie rod ends so that, that's what we got there next drawer I got safety stuff here so I got my uh, welding helmet right here got a face shield some earmuffs uh, various uh, safety glasses and whatnot down here safety glasses got some some gloves down here so that's what I got down here and I may use that too for power tools if I end up buying some more power tools I can easily move that stuff somewhere else so uh, that's what I got okay guys so that was my little toolbox tour but also just sort of showing you this toolbox and what type of storage is in here if you're in the market for another uh, large toolbox uh, I can tell you it's pretty heavy duty um, they've definitely stepped their game up a bit uh, as far as drawer slides for larger drawers uh, you can tell it's a little bit thicker still uh, than their uh, first toolboxes of this size so uh, they stepped it up and then we have the light included also we got the two uh, power strips on each side uh, they definitely stepped it up uh, so they did a good job on this one so hopefully you was able to see uh, if this toolbox is right for you uh, give you a good idea of this husky 52 inch 15 drawer anyway guys thanks for tuning in this is brian 916 i'll see you guys on the next one